In today's video, I'll answer your question, what is a monitoring spirit? Then afterward, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. Among some charismatic groups, a monitoring spirit is thought to be an evil spirit or demon that essentially monitors someone's behavior for the purpose of inflicting hurt or pain into that person's life. A monitoring spirit is sometimes called a masquerading spirit or a watcher. According to those who subscribe to this type of doctrine, a monitoring spirit can be sent by another demon, a witch, or anyone with the spiritual know-how. The spirits supposedly monitor what you do, how you do it, what you say, and who your friends are. Their purpose is to gather information to facilitate spiritual attacks, steal blessings, infect with sickness, sabotage success, and generally wreak havoc in the victim's life. Tools of monitoring are purported to include mirrors, brooms, tarot cards, and crystal balls. Supposedly, monitoring spirits can possess or take the form of animals such as cats, dogs, blackbirds, rats, wolves, and insects. Monitoring spirits are said to manipulate the dreams of their victims, causing certain motifs to reoccur. Eating, having sex, being chased by an animal, looking in a mirror, combing one's hair, seeing one's shadow, or seeing the moon. The question, as always, is whether there is biblical support for the idea of monitoring spirits. The answer is no, there is not. The Bible teaches the reality of the spiritual world, both angelic and demonic, and we can assume that both angels and demons can see us and do watch us to a certain extent. But to assume a whole category of demons and assign to them the role of monitoring goes far beyond what the Bible teaches. There are many other types of demons according to some imaginative religious people. Python spirits, Delilah spirits, Jezebel spirits, marine spirits, etc. None of these spiritual entities are mentioned in scripture, and we should avoid those who insist on spreading a made-up collection of spiritual enemies. The Bible says that evil is indeed at work in this world, and that believers are involved in a battle against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. But the convoluted demonological mythologies put forward by some charismatics are unhelpful and have more to do with fantasy and magic than with the Word of God. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.